Okay, hello everyone, this is Mr. Rob Ronan here again, and this is a Nezuko combo guide. We're going to go over all of our combos, what you should do when, and how to get good damage out of our combos. So, the main Nezuko combo I suggest you do most of the time is actually this. It's a very high damaging combo for only two bars, and it's quite easy to do, and it's actually very, very safe, because most of it involves attack strings. There's only a special move at the very end. It's very easy to chase down your opponent if they decide to break out of the combo. So if I'm, you know, I'm doing all these attacks, if Sabito decides to break out of the combo, I can press dash at any time to chase him down and, you know, catch him off guard. Because if I was doing, you know, maybe my, like, flip kick or something, I'd be caught in an animation to do something, and, you know, it's not as safe. But when I'm just doing all these attacks, I can dash out at any time, keep myself very safe. It also does a lot of damage for, you know, two bars, as I said. And also with the flying kick at the end, you have kind of an option select. So you can either choose to enter a combo in this animation, if you press the button twice, it does a little bit more damage. But if you do it without the animation, you get a hard knockdown. <coughs> and a decently long one. So if you want to end your combo, you can decide to go for a little less damage, just to get the hard knockdown. And off of a hard knockdown, you can either just stand there while the opponent's far away, build some meter before they can get to you, you know, make your combo more worthwhile and make it almost free. Or, after a hard knockdown, I also like to, you know, run up, maybe summon a support, or even jump in the air and do my cat scratches in the air as they wake up, because a lot of people wake up and get hit by that, and you can do some cool stuff that way, and, you know, off of your cat scratches in an air, you can get a combo like this, which does a lot of damage. Once again, 4,000 damage again. She gets very good, very consistent damage. So, if you want to see that combo again, that was off of a hard knockdown. As they wake up, they wake up into the cat scratches, and because you're in the air, it's very hard to punish. And then you can go for a simple combo like this. Very, very good stuff. Very easy to convert off of anything. And that's basically Nezuko. She has a lot of combo routes, even though her most recommended combo route is this weird, like, dive kick one that does the most damage. She can combo off of basically anything. She can cancel her cat scratches into a heal flip. And then if you want to get a combo off of a heal flip, it's very easy. Just the same thing. Just do regular combo into your, you know dive kick at the end and you can choose to either get the hard knockdown or the follow up for more damage. Now if you, I guess if you want to do a combo that looks a little bit more flashy and you don't want to do the heel kick and you don't want to do the jump cancel combos because some people are complaining that that looks really boring, obviously you know, you can do this but it does a little bit less damage. <clears throat> if you get a shortened combo, so off of her armored attack or her jumping attack, like her jumping tilt attack, you know where you get a red combo. You can just do a full attack string into her, you know, flying dive kick, which does pretty decent damage. And you can get that very easy, very consistently, with some good damage. And obviously, she can choose to get the hard knockdown um, if she doesn't do the animation afterwards. So just like that. And... Oh, I guess he broke out of the combo there. But yeah, you can get some easy damage off of that. If you... <laughs> Oh, also, because Nezuko is such a combo um, a pressure monster, I feel like it's important to talk about her pressure. So, Nezuko, like her cat scratches, a lot of people think it's a great combo tool, but what I think it's really good for is pressure on block. Because it takes so long in a combo, it uses up a lot of your combo time, and it's really not that useful. But on block, it's a really effective, crazy special move. So, not only does it have a huge hitbox, so you can see she's attacking him from like three character body lengths away, and so she's not really right in his face when she's doing it, she pushes him really far away. So a lot of the time when people do pushback on, you know, the, the second half of the move, don't even get pushback at all because you're so far away, and has so many hits they end up getting hit by the other hits anyways if they try to press buttons. So it's very good against people that are trying to push back, so if he tries to push back here and mash buttons, he's just going to walk back into the move. So you have to push back and do an invincible move or something, but because you're so far away, a lot of invincible moves miss. It's just very effective to just do a bunch of buttons into her cat scratches, and her cat scratches can then be cancelled into her heel flip, which is plus on block. And then you can just loop this situation over and over and over again on block, and oops, I think I have... Um, guard break disabled. Whoopsie. So, if they are blocking all this, their guard is going to break pretty quickly. Oops, I ran out of meter. <laughs> so, you know, even if he tries to push back, he still has to keep blocking this. And if his guard breaks, cool, you get a conversion. You can go in for the simple combos we were doing this whole time. 
And she has a really good attack string that like never drops on an opponent in the air, it's so handy. So yeah, her block strings are very good, and her mix-ups are also very good. So when we're talking about her basic combo that I recommend you doing this, you can also end your combo in a dash into a block. And you're at advantage here, so you can either go for a dash into a grab, and that is a very tight link. Your opponent either has to be sidestepping or jumping to get out of that, and a lot of people aren't, you know, mashing jump when you're hitting them with the combo. They're either just standing there blocking or mashing buttons. And if they do that when you're doing this combo, it's not going to work out for them. And if they do try to mash buttons on you, or try to do, like, a sidestep or anything, you can press buttons and reset them that way. So, let's recap. So after you do the full combo, you know, into a jump cancel, you end in your regular attack string into a dash in, and you can either do your full combo into a grab, very tight link there, or you can do your dash in into a reset combo, then you reset all your damage and then you're going to get a lot of damage. Let me show how much that happens if they just decide not to block once. So your opponent decided to not block once, and they took like 80% damage by your one single reset. And it only cost you like 3 bars of meter, it's really really powerful. And if they decide to just stand there blocking... Oops, this might not work because they're in the corner. Nope. Get a grab. That does about 50% health, which is more damage than any of your regular BNDs do for um, 2 bars. So half health for 2 bars if they decide to block. That's really powerful. She's got really powerful mix-ups, and her grab is really strong because it leaves them in a hard knockdown right in your face, unlike some characters, so she can get her cat scratches in the air for the reset, and then go in for these combos just like we said before. She's a very, very powerful character. She can get conversions off of anything. She has crazy guard pressure. Um, actually, one more note on the guard pressure. Because these cat scratches into heel flip is so powerful, and they're going to be expecting you do that like all the time, you can go for tricky stuff, where you do a combo where you cancel your cat scratches into it. Okay, it messes up when you're near the wall, but everyone messes up their, <laughs> their throws when you're near a wall, so just be careful of that. But because they're going to expect you to do the heel flip every time because it's so powerful, you can go for a grab. Catch them with the grab! They think they can just stand there blocking? Mm-mm, don't let them. But anyways, those are Nezuko's combos. Let's just show a quick combo into an ultimate. Basically, you can do, like, anything, but I found a really good combo you can do is this. This works. Uh, oops, but it's a little bit inconsistent. But I also recommend that some people might say this is boring, but you can do my basic combo, and it does a lot of damage. And then into an ultimate. And that's very easy, very hard to mess up. Very easy timing, and it does a big, big, big chunk of damage. So yeah, those are Nezuko's combos. And I included a little bit of pressure in there, because I feel like it's really important to a character. You need to know how to do pressure combos. But yeah, Nezuko, interesting combo character, interesting pressure character. I hope this helped, and yeah, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.